negotiating your own short sales, you absolutely must, you want to make sure that you disclose everything as a listing agent. What do you want to disclose? Number one, it's a short sale. The worst thing is somebody puts an offer on the property and you think it's a traditional sale and you go to closing, guess what, you don't have enough money. The easiest way to figure that out is get a payoff statement from the lien fund title. Just get a payoff statement from the homeowner. Hey, can I have a payoff statement from your mortgage lender? So disclose. Proper disclosure as a listing agent is essential. Sold as is. It's a big one you see. Why is it sold as is? Right. Most of these sellers don't have they yeah, correct. No they don't have money. Right. In a traditional sale, what happens? You can negotiate that. You can negotiate it and they can take it out of proceeds because there is <coughs> equity. Yeah. Right? They do a hold back. But there's a problem. Well, the seller may have funds to fix small issues. And a short sale, they don't. So it's sold as is. That's a great disclosure for your listing. So make sure you put these disclosures in. Subject to third party approval. That's another disclosure, number one. Subject to third party uh, approval on a short sale. So a good negotiator has now properly disclosed things that are necessary for the buyer to know, for anybody to know. Set expectations. Set them with your buyer's agent, set them with your seller. Let people know, listen, if you're a buyer and you're putting in an offer and you wanna close in 30 days, I can't do that for you. I can tell you to expect that I'll try to get this done for you in 60 days or 90 days if you if you can give them one. It's tough to give a time frame when you have to rely on a third party bank. You don't know how long it's gonna take. But